most of the world plans to celebrate Christmas on December 25. As every year, gifts are purchased, banquets are organized, and people plan to spend time with friends and family. However, the world has entered a time like never before, and it is important to understand what God reveals about the timing of such important events as the first advent of Christ and His second coming in glory. Christmas is the commemoration of the birth of Jesus, the only hope of salvation from sin, as His name indicates. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus came to bring salvation to the world through his life and sacrifice. What can we learn about the timing of Jesus' first coming according to the biblical account? In this video, you will discover the true date of Christmas this year according to God's calendar. The real Christmas falls on the 24th day of the seventh month, as described in the article Christmas 2.0. We invite you to read it to learn the details of how this day was discovered. This year, following God's calendar, Christmas or Jesus' birthday is on November 9. This is the true Christmas in which we commemorate the birth of the Savior of the world, and we give thanks for the love He has given us by choosing to come to this world knowing that He could lose everything if His mission failed. It was because of His great love that God sent His Son to grant us forgiveness of our sins and to give us salvation. But that is not the whole story. God does not change. Just as the wise men from the east were guided by the star to see the king who had been born, again, God has orchestrated not just one star, but two comets that show the time of Jesus' second coming, and this time he comes with power and great glory as King of kings and Lord of lords. The trajectory of these two comets forms the sign of the Son of Man that God has directed in fulfillment of Jesus' prophecy, so that His people, who have weighed His coming, may have faith and hope despite living in this troubled world. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The sign of the Son of Man is the sign that we must continue to look up to in faith, for this is the sign that shows His second coming, just as the wise men followed the sign at His first coming. Be among the wise, filling your lamp with the oil provided by this sign, and share with others so that they may know of His soon return in the clouds, and their faces also shine with the blessed hope. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever.